So I've got this beautiful Clara Walnut guitar body. It's got some cracking in the top. This is a Clara Walnut burl that I bought a number of years ago and I air dried it. And some of the burl decided to crack on me. So a lot of times what you'll see is folks will use a sand or clay or something, some sort of inlay material, inlays, to fill these gaps. In the past I've also left them so that they're open. Today I'm going to show you how to fill them with turquoise sand. It's very similar to the inlays that I've done for my headstock, but just done on a little bit larger scale. There's lots of different materials you can use. There's this blue turquoise sand, it's man-made. You can also buy turquoise sand that's real. You can see in the two different pieces here, the coloring is much darker with the turquoise sand. There's also green gold sand, malachite sand, and white marble. I've used all of these. They all have their different look and feel on a guitar body. Today I'm going to use turquoise sand in this. I think it'll pop real pretty. First thing I'm going to do, this guitar body has been sanded down to 220. And what I'm going to do is take some blue tape and mask off the pieces that I'm going to work on so I don't damage the rest of the guitar body. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of a pick and go inside the cracks and make sure that I get anything loose out. Any of the stuff on the side that's loose, what I don't want to do is after I glue this, something becomes loose on the outside and it just kind of ruins it. So just make sure we've got the cracks open. Here, here's a crack that started but it didn't really form. So what I'm going to do is take the awl and kind of just get in there and force it open. A couple spots that go down pretty deep here. There you go. There's always a little knot or something in there. Gonna blow out all the material. Next we're going to put up a little mixing spot. So there's a couple different options then of the glue that you can use. I like to use the 5 minute epoxy. I've also seen guys use super glue. I prefer the epoxy. I think it dries a little bit harder. More solid if you got some gaps. So essentially what you're going to do is take your turquoise, whatever inlay material you're going to use. Dump some out. You're gonna make little batches here to fill the holes. You can use a toothpick or a random piece of wood. Just begin by mixing this all together. So the consistency you're looking for is solid, not too loose. It's kind of a feel. This feels about right. If it's too dry, not really liking too dry. So what you're going to do is just take this stuff and start forcing it down the holes. So I've got my toothpick. And you want it to just kind of build on the outside, on the top, not too much. I'm 
kind of breaking this up, make sure there's no air bubbles. So we'll move to the other side here. You just continue to work the material into the crack. Make sure there's no air bubbles. So at this point the epoxy is just getting a little bit rough if you don't keep working it. It's okay over here. Force it down over here too. So now this is really getting sticky, so it's starting to dry. So what we'll do is let this dry, we'll come back, and we'll then sand this off for, even though this is 5 minute epoxy, I'll let this dry for 24 hours before I touch it, because the deeper the glue is in the crack, the much longer it takes it for it to dry. So we'll get in there uh, tomorrow and clean this out. So now we're going to go back with the sander after 24 hours and start sanding this off. This is 80 grit sandpaper. We're going to go back and get the more aggressive sander. I've got a Makita 10 amp with a flat bottom versus the Black & Decker here that's got kind of an open bottom. The Makita is a 12 amp sander, much more powerful, very aggressive sander. So I'll go through and sand with 80, 120, 240, up to 400. And then this is two coats of True Oil. True oil looks great on Clara Walnut, it really highlights the figure, and just really a, a beautiful look on a guitar body. So thanks for watching guys, check out my website, and we'll see you in the next vid.